Alright folks, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I welded the hitch for my Skidoo Expedition. This is my first welding project. I've only just done some practice welds about a week or so ago. So this is my first actual project welding. I'm completely self-taught welding. I've uh, been watching a bunch of YouTube videos and I've always wanted a welder for projects just like this. A hitch for this snowmobile is just under $200. And uh, this is actually the project that pushed me to getting a welder. And I wanna make it very clear before we get into this video, I'm not trying to sound like I know what I'm talking about. I'm not showing you guys how to weld. I don't know the settings enough on the machines. You know, I don't know all the terminology good enough to make this sound like a how-to video. This is just me showing you how I did it. I have a ton more learning to do. I've only had, I don't know, that first time I uh, did my practice welds was probably, I mean, all together, maybe 20, 30 minutes of welding, if that, and most of that was prep time. I didn't do a ton of talking. I was more focused on welding versus filming the welding, if that makes sense. But I tried my best to just set the tripod up and get a few shots. But I'll just show you guys, you know, the end of it real quick. The end result came out pretty good, pretty basic. Uh, nothing fancy here. Um, my plan was to have an inch and a quarter uh, come out of the housing here, inch and a quarter, some uh, tube into a solid piece of uh, metal stock here, go into a solid piece of uh, flat bar here. Uh, drilled the holes uh, pretty easy. Cheap Harbor Freight hitch pin here. Pretty basic build. I thought this would be the uh, great first project. And just one other thing before we get into this, folks. Uh, this is just for hauling ice fishing gear. Uh, this isn't for hauling anything on roadways or anything like that. This is just for hauling ice fishing gear. I've already pulled a drag around our little goat path trail to get to the ITS trail. So that's what it's gonna be designed for. I don't recommend any type of like roadway hitch being your first welding project. So this is just for ice fishing, just for hauling a drag around. And with that folks, we're gonna get right into the video. And these are the settings for the welding here. Slightly higher on the voltage than what uh, the presets are. In my practicing, I found it ran a little better, a little hotter. So this is what we're gonna start with and we'll make some adjustments if needed. I'm gonna do some practice welds off camera and then we're gonna get working on this hitch. Okay, just a few tacks. So first welds on this hitch here, I cut short a few times. This weld looks pretty good. This weld looks pretty good. Missed a little spot right there in the end. This top one was my first one. A little bit ugly. This uh, corner joint here, also pretty ugly. I may go in and try to fix this one here. No real blow throughs though no blow throughs I can see the heat penetration in there pretty good so that's always good to see I'm gonna touch a couple of these up all right here's a couple close-ups of the welds are these gonna win any medals absolutely not I'm using 035 wire. 
I didn't mention that earlier. They're pretty ugly. A few fixes in there. But that'll work for just hauling ice fishing gear around. So I think what I'm going to do is just grind these down a little, get some of these beads off, and uh, we'll move on to the next part. So here's a cleaned up version. I ground down these longer welds here. They're still not super pretty, but I think they'll work. I did lay one more set of beads on these inside welds here, and they came out pretty good. So we're going to run with this and move on to the next part. Not a bad weld. That thicker stuff is quite a bit easier to weld than that tube material. This is uh, a pretty good weld right there. So here's these welds right here. These ones came out pretty good on this solid steel. I had to add a little bit in this corner because I stopped a little too early. But this came out looking pretty good. So next we're going to get these sleeves on. I've never welded round to square, so this is uh, going to be a little bit of a learning curve here. These welds came out phenomenal. I don't know why that welded so good. Uh, that was much better than the square tubing. I missed a little bit right there at the very end, but overall, these are the best welds I've ever done. Just a little bit of cleanup, and that should be good to go. light fast folks waiting for that to cure took quite a bit of time so we're gonna get this last tack on paint it and we should be golden Here are the last of the welds. They came out pretty good. Again, not professional, but for my first actual project, I think they came out pretty good. Here's the other side. I gotta clean up the splatter here. I'm gonna end up putting a little bit of grease in there just to uh, make that move around a little better. I may try to touch up this little corner here that busted through on the end. I'll probably try to fix that up. Then we'll get this cleaned up and painted. All right, here's our hitch. First project ever welding. It's uh, flapping like a hitch flaps. I'm gonna uh, get some paint on it.
here's a closer look at it. This is a half inch, I think this is three and a quarter inch, maybe three and a half inch. It's right on Harbor Freight's website. Here is the final shot of it. This is uh, three or four coats of paint. As you can see, it's already coming off, so I'm gonna have to do something better. Uh, that rust oleum, you know, doesn't really work that well. But uh, yeah, this is the final project. It's all painted up. Looks good, completely free moving hitch. I said earlier in the video that I was gonna put some grease in there. I may not have to. I think that'll be free moving enough. I'll, I'll keep an eye on it and see. Um, I'm sure, you know, some rust will probably build up in there over time, but you know, I'll, I'll watch it. Uh, spray the inside of the tube. But overall, I'm really happy with how this came out. I think this was a great first project. I uh, learned a bunch on that project there. I uh, am really liking the welding process. I find this really handy. I wish I would have got one years ago. But with that, folks, we're going to uh, wrap it up here. That was just a real quick video on how I made that hitch. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll try my best to answer them. But again, keep in mind, I'm a complete novice. But uh, we're going to wrap it up there, folks. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.